Welcome back to Dogecast. This is Vin. I am going to share with you a theory that I have, something that I think is being worked on right now. And if it's true, it is going to cause Dogecoin to absolutely skyrocket. Now, I don't think this is imminent. I don't think it's something that's going to happen within the next few weeks or even next few months. But within the year, it's possible that some crazy news is going to come out. I'm going to share with you what I think that is. But before I do, let's look at the chart. So here we are on the Dogecoin chart for today. It is June 3rd. It is 3.55 p.m. And you can see Dogecoin is down today 7%. This is not a big deal. I don't know if you guys listen to any other podcasters or speakers about Dogecoin, but this is completely expected. In fact, if you heard my video from yesterday, I already said that I expected Dogecoin to come back down to around 37 or 38 cents. Matter of fact, I wrote down this number. 0 0.37400. That is actually where I think Dogecoin belongs right now. And if Dogecoin falls at that level with Ethereum and Bitcoin remaining where they currently are, that would mean that Dogecoin would have gotten a 10% boost from the Coinbase Pro listing. And that would make absolute sense. I actually think Dogecoin is still a little higher than it should be, but I think it's higher than it should be because people are excited about it and they're investing in it. And as it's going down, people are reinvesting in it, but it wants to pull back down to that level, meaning it wants to consolidate. That's a healthy thing. Whenever you have an investment, you don't want it to be artificially inflated. You want it to consolidate to where it's supposed to be. And right now, I believe Dogecoin is supposed to be at 0 0.37400. It may remain a little higher than that because there might be some more investment and some bullish investment going on. But this fall, 7% today, not a problem. I was actually pretty surprised that Dogecoin was staying so high today. Really surprised me. Um, Bitcoin today is up 2%. And Ethereum is up two and a half percent. They're up. They're about the same, two and a half percent. And you can see their charts are nearly identical. Uh, Dogecoin started out the morning completely different than the two of them. Dogecoin started way up and then sort of just trended down, whereas Bitcoin trended up and so did Ethereum trend up. Now, before I share my theory with you, there really isn't too much news except for the fact that Coinbase Pro did now officially today release Dogecoin uh, trading on its platform. And so usually when that happens, you you generally see a bump, but we saw a 20 to 30% gain already for Dogecoin just on the announcement. So the bump has already occurred uh, from that announcement. And now Dogecoin is in the midst of that, of the ability to trade on Coinbase Pro. We're going to see how that goes. Uh, we're going to see what the supply there looks like. And eventually as Coinbase begins to phase Dogecoin into their entire platform, their Coinbase.com and their mobile application for entry users, up to 55 million people. So we'll keep you up to date on that. And as, thing, as that unravels and unfolds, uh, Dogecoin will continue to go up. So here is my theory on what I think is being worked on with Dogecoin right now. And if this is true, again, Dogecoin is going to skyrocket if this happens. Now, I've already touched on some of this in a previous video, but I want to get a little bit more in depth on why I think this is really possible. And so I start off with this. Why? Because really, what makes Dogecoin what it is? What makes it so popular? Why is Dogecoin even a thing right now with crypto assets? It's because of two reasons. Number one, the people have gotten behind it. And we're seeing these movements in stocks and crypto assets. And you're seeing it on Reddit. Individuals, when they want people to get behind something and they get behind it, that thing does very well. Well, guess what? The people are behind Dogecoin, whether you like it or not. If you're a Bitcoin lover, if you're an Ethereum lover, Polygon, I don't really care. The people are behind Dogecoin. Now, this really upsets some people in Bitcoin. They don't like it. I don't. It doesn't matter if you like it or not. Some people who say, well, Ethereum is really the direction you should be going. It's completely secure. It's contractually amazing. It That's wonderful. But the people are behind Dogecoin. And you have to respect that whether or not you like it or not. And so they are. That's reason number one. 
Reason number two is Elon Musk. Elon Musk is one of the most powerful people on planet Earth. At this point, the third richest. He will probably regain number one at a certain point. But because he has gotten behind Dogecoin in a real way and the people are behind Dogecoin, it is a thing. And some news came out just about a month ago or so where Elon Musk said that Tesla is no longer going to be accepting Bitcoin as payment for its vehicles. And this was huge because they had just come out months previous to that saying that they would accept it. And that was huge for Bitcoin. And of course, Tesla and, and Elon Musk investing in Bitcoin as well, $1.5 billion in, in Bitcoin. And then all of a sudden they stop accepting it. And so my theory really starts here. Why did Elon Musk stop the payments of, of for Tesla's using Bitcoin? Why would he do that? Now, the reason he gave is that there was rapidly increasing fossil fuel fuels that were being used for Bitcoin mining. That's the reason he gave. Now, I don't think that's the real reason why he stopped Bitcoin being used. And there's a couple of reasons behind that. Number one, he already knew that they were using insane amounts of fossil fuels for their Bitcoin mining. That was something he already knew and he could see the projections. He's not a stupid person. He already knew that was the case and he decided to invest and accept it as payment. So after a couple of months, all of a sudden he's like, well, it really went up in the last couple of months. Come on now. He already knew that that was the case. In addition, look at the amount of fossil fuels it takes to produce the Tesla vehicle. Matter of fact, um, there are some projections that it takes more energy and fossil fuels to make a battery to go into the Tesla than it does to, to run many of the gas vehicles that are on the roads right now for their entire life. So the Tesla itself and the battery itself is not exactly environmentally friendly, even though it's presented as that. So Elon Musk himself isn't necessarily producing environmentally friendly uh, things at this point, And he already knew that Bitcoin was using vast amounts of energy, but he stopped it anyway. Why? I think there's a different reason why he did it. I think he did it because he views Bitcoin, the leaders of Bitcoin, the back end of Bitcoin, and maybe some of the larger users of Bitcoin as sort of the crypto snobs of society. And stick with me, especially if you're a Bitcoin lover here. I'm not trying to upset you, but it is the truth. People who love Bitcoin and are really into it kind of have their noses stuck up at everyone else because Bitcoin's the real deal. That that's where the value is. We are the digital gold and we are the crypto standard by which everyone needs to stand up to it. Matter of fact, they look down on people who support Dogecoin. They'll laugh at them in the back rooms like like huh, those little plebeians. I'm serious. This is actually a thing. In any sector, you always have these different groups of people. And I think at that point, Elon was already pretty excited about Dogecoin and the movement of people getting behind it. And by accepting Bitcoin and by promoting Bitcoin and using it for Tesla and investing in it, Elon inadvertently did something that I don't think he wanted to do. He promoted the snobbery of cryptocurrency and crypto assets. And I think he regretted that decision because he really wanted to put his weight behind something that the people could get behind. The masses can't get behind Bitcoin just like the masses can't get behind gold. Not everyone's going to be able to get gold. We have a planet filled with 7 billion people. There's only so much gold to go around. Who gets the gold? The rich get the gold. There's only so much Bitcoin to go around. Who gets the Bitcoin? The rich get the Bitcoin. But Elon Musk wants to support something that the people can get, the people can have access to, and people can have access to Dogecoin because it doesn't have a limited supply, although it is limited yearly at 5 billion Dogecoin, which is a good thing. I mean, its inflationary value is going to go down every single year because of that, but the people can access it. And he inadvertently supported the snobbery of crypto assets. Now stick with me. Once he did that, he, he basically said, I don't want to do this. I want to get behind something different. I want to support the people. And he came up with the environmentally uh, friendly reason why that there's too much fossil fuels being used. And that's what he came out with. And that's what he needs to stick to. But I do believe that Elon wants to come up with a solution to get Bitcoin back in, because I do think that he realizes that Bitcoin is insanely valuable and it is legitimate. Nobody is claiming that Bitcoin's not legitimate. It is legitimate and it is the powerhouse when it comes to crypto assets. I completely agree with that. 
And I think Elon wants them back in, and I think he sees a huge future with Bitcoin. But he doesn't want to go against what he already said, which is this uh, carbon footprint and these increased fossil fuels that are being used for Bitcoin. But he also doesn't want to just support the snobbery. He wants to support the people. And I believe in the back end that Elon is having conversations with the leaders and creators of Bitcoin and the creators of Dogecoin and other individuals that are involved in blockchains and securities. And what he is suggesting to them is something that we've already suggested on this channel, and this is news already, that Bitcoin allow Dogecoin to piggyback off of its transactions. Now, before you tell me that that's impossible, it's not, first off, but let me tell you this. I understand that the creators of Bitcoin are not going to be excited about that premise because remember, they're the snobbery of crypto assets. And it would make complete sense that the snobbery of crypto assets do not want to affiliate themselves with the plebeians of their group. You know, they're the untouchables, literally. Dogecoin, untouchable. That's how they view them. And so Bitcoin creators are not going to want to affiliate themselves with that. But here's the thing. There is some reasons why they might do it. And I believe that Elon is smart enough and has the people around him to convince the creators of Bitcoin because by doing this, Bitcoin will insanely strengthen its position. And so essentially what will happen is this. Bitcoin already uses an insane amount of energy for its operations. And essentially, the energy that it uses can be justified by allowing one blockchain to piggyback off of the security of another blockchain. In this case, case, Dogecoin piggybacking off of the transactions of Bitcoin, thereby increasing the security of Dogecoin and the legitimacy of Dogecoin. So this would be huge for Dogecoin. Essentially, if Bitcoin did this teamed up here, uh, Bitcoin would become digital gold and Dogecoin would become the digital currency. And then you'd have some outline players. Now, I don't think Bitcoin, if they did this, they would only do it for Dogecoin. I think they would do it for other blockchains as well. But what this would do is it would diversify uh, Bitcoin's function. Not only does it become the digital gold, but it gains an additional function as an entity to allow other crypto assets to piggyback off of its security and its transactions. This would make Bitcoin so much more valuable because not only is it now going to be valuable in and of itself as digital gold, but gaining this other purpose, it's going to become insanely valuable as it supports other digital assets, meaning Bitcoin is going to be completely necessary for the functioning of Dogecoin. And Bitcoin is going to be completely necessary for the functioning of another crypto asset. It might even have 10 other crypto assets that it supports and Bitcoin becomes insanely powerful because of this. Now, before you tell me that Bitcoin won't do this, I believe that those creators can be convinced that this is an opportunity for them to not only secure their position, solidify their position, but become then they are a powerhouse, but just blow up as a powerhouse. And if Bitcoin doesn't do this, there may be another blockchain or crypto asset that will try to secure that type of a position as adding and piggybacking others to their transactions to give them a little bit more security. In addition, this is going to justify the energy output of Bitcoin and companies like Tesla and others will now accept them again. I believe there are active talks in the back end about this. I am not as privy as the individuals who work on these systems. So although this makes sense to me that this could work, it, it makes sense theoretically that it could work. There could be people that could say practically, I get what you're saying, but practically this doesn't work, but it may. There may be people in the back end who realize this actually can work. And I think this will solve all all of the problems. It's going to solve Bitcoin's energy use problem. It's going to solve Bitcoin's one use problem, and it now becomes a multifunction um, operation. It's going to solve Dogecoin and other crypto assets problems. It's going to bring more legitimacy to crypto assets in entire it's an entirety. It's also going to solve Elon Musk's problem because he said he won't support anything that's uh, using that type of a carbon footprint. And it becomes this solve all for all this entire uh, entity that is crypto assets. I don't know if it's going to exactly work the way that I'm saying it, but I believe there are talks of this. And I don't think we're weeks away from this. I think we are maybe a year 
away from this because this stuff takes time. And of course, they might be saying, well, we need to see a little bit more out of Dogecoin first, you know, because we don't really, we're, you know, the snobs. We don't really want to do this yet, but we get it. We understand what you're saying and we get it. Now, I think that that uh, Bitcoin is going to try to leverage its position as much as possible. You know, they're not going to just team up with Dogecoin. That's not what they're going to do. They're going to leverage their position as the player if this happens. And Dogecoin is just going to be one of many. But that's OK because the people are behind Dogecoin. So I'm fine with that. I think they're going to want to see how Dogecoin does, especially with Coinbase and just seeing if things level off and seeing how things go. And then I think as they figure out the solutions that they need to put in place in order for this to happen, this is a possible outcome. Now, I'm going to place this outcome at maybe 10% right now. I'm not saying that this is definite. I'm not saying this is 100% going to occur, but I see it solving a ton of problems. I see it, I see it nicely wrapping up all of the issues that are out there right now, issues that Elon Musk is having that I think initially caused him to stop using Bitcoin and issues that Bitcoin's going to have in the future and issues that Dogecoin has and the entirety of uh, this sector. It does so much. So if you could comment below and tell me if I'm absolutely crazy or if I'm way off, let me know. If you think, you know what, I think... I think you might have something here. Um, let me know that as well. And so I would like you to leave a comment below if that is you. But I really am excited about it because if this news comes out, woof, $1, forget $1 for uh, Dogecoin. You're going to have this coin is going to go crazy. It, I mean, it's just going to become something completely different. Let's go back to the chart. Let's see what happened in the last 10 minutes. Here we are back on Dogecoin. It is down 6.7%, so it went up slightly. All right, there it is. This is the last hour, so it went up slightly in the last hour. Um, again, people are just uh, excited about Dogecoin right now. I, what is the rest of the market coming back up? Bitcoin up and then down a little bit, and then Ethereum up and then down a little bit, and we did not see that down tick in uh, a little bit of a down tick right now. Um, so it's following a little bit, but there is some investors that are excited about it. I know some people are looking at Dogecoin at 39 cents and thinking, oh no, you know, that's not good. It came down a lot. But for me, I see it should be at 37 cents and change right now. That's where it should be right now, but it's not. So a lot of investors are holding this up right now. So uh, all good things. I'm excited to continue to talk about Dogecoin. I see a really good future here. If you've already invested in it, congratulations. Most of you got in at like between 29 and 33 cents. So everyone is making money right now. If you listened to me uh, back when we first introduced this, and I wanted to do Dogecoin a while ago, but I just didn't. I started investing in it a while ago. But um, kind of waited for the stimulus stuff to die down before I jumped into this. So, uh, but now that we're into it, and I, I recommended it, everybody should be up in their money, unless you got in after I suggested it. If you got in at the forty cent range or forty one or something like that, uh, it's down a little bit. But don't worry, uh, it might settle down into the thirty seven cent range. Sometimes when it settles down, it goes below the the settling point to the thirty six, and then it kind of comes back up. Um, but if it stays above thirty seven four. It's doing, it's performing better than it probably should, which could be a good thing. All right. With that said, I think I've talked enough. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. As always, I will catch you next time.